Hey guys, good evening. Just give me one moment. Give me one moment. I'm going to share the presentation with you. <clears throat> Ajá, chicos, ya terminamos la sección 3 y el midterm exam. Ya los resolvieron o hay algún ejercicio todavía que les haga falta. Si es así, recuérdenme, hay allí este, que lo veamos más tarde, ¿ok? Pero si ya lo completaron, pues excelente. Okay, uh, yesterday we stopped here, right? We were talking about uh, there is their art and also the quantifiers, right? Uh, also, okay, you were going to ask, you know, questions to each other. And the idea here was to put into practice, you know, the, um, the knowledge that you already have, okay? So, there is an activity here, right, where we have a uh, different, you know, uh, topics, right? It says write answers to these questions uh, about your neighborhood, right? Then practice with a partner, okay? It's, we have the first question, are there many apartment buildings? How much traffic is there? How many dance clubs are there? Is there much noise? Are there many pay bonds, pay funds? Is there much pollution? right? How many swimming pools are there? Is there much parking? Okay. Ya vamos a ver las preguntas. Now, right now, what I uh, would do is that I will pass the attendance. Y luego nos vamos con, a trabajar con esas preguntas. So, Andrea Esther Acosta Hernández. Andrea Esther. Hear me. Thank you. Let me see. Carolina Griselda Calzadilla Arias. Eh, David Enrique Rivera Calderón. Aquí presente, Miss. Thank you. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Giovanni Hernández Laínez. Edwin Orlando Chávez Romero. Present, teacher, sorry. Thank you. Eh, Eugenio Ernesto Martínez Fuentes. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Fernando José Martínez Chávez. Geraldine Lisset Villeda Chacón. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Guillermo Efember Navarrete Barrera. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Eh, Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Irvin Ezequiel Martinez Callejas. Present teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Hernández Maldonado. Present. Thank you. Jenny Margarita Maeda Barrientos. Jose Oscar Herrera Sanabria. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Patricia Herrera Zavala. Present, Thank you, Catherine uh, Marielos Melendez Villegas. Maria Lidia Cañas de Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mercy Esther Blanco Viera. Present. Thank you. Natalie Cristina Roque de Cervando. <clears throat> Norma Leticia García de Canjura. Present teacher. Gracias. Patricia Lisset Romero de Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Isabel Martínez Navas. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Beatriz Toledo de Rodesno. Ok. Very good. ¿Alguien que haya ingresado en este momento y que no haya contestado? Para agregarle la lista. Catherine en el chat. Ah, ok. Veamos Catherine Marielos, dice. Bye. ¿Alguien más? No? Vaya. Ok. Entonces, let's move on to the questions. Gracias, chicos. Casi todos están 
Okay, let's take a look in here. We have the presentation. Buenas and... noches, teacher. Perdón, eh, yo voy ingresando. Reina ¿Quién Martínez. habla? Ah, ok. <ríe> es que como cuando no levantan la mano no veo quién habla. Espérenme. Eh, ¿Dónde está la lista? Vaya. Los que van ingresando ya, bueno, gracias Reina. Aquí le agregué, en, al final pues paso asistencia de nuevo, ¿verdad? Para que le agreguemos ahí la asistencia. Vaya, chicos. So, these questions, as you can remember, right, the ones that we have here are from the conversation. Okay? So, this is the conversation that we were studying yesterday. Okay? And eh, here we have some questions that we can ask. ¿Verdad? Le podemos preguntar a alguien cuando se va de casa, se cambia de casa o se va a una casa nueva, etc. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, let's take a look at the conversation. Can I have two volunteers to read the conversation? Nick and Pam. Two volunteers. Eh, Geraldine, ayúdenme con Pam. Y Sandra, ayúdenme con Nick. Comience. Eh, Sandra sería. Mm -hmm. How do you like your, your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Wow. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, they are in many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. Very good, excellent. Very good um, uh, intonation, okay? Thank you, girls. Now, take a look at the questions, right? How do you like your new apartment? Meaning how much you like it. ¿Qué tanto te gusta? ¿verdad? How do you like your new apartment? Okay, and we can respond with I love it. ¿verdad? Si no me gusta, ¿cómo voy a decir? <clears throat> Sorry, me he muerto. I don't like it. I don't like it. Muy bien. ¿Hm? Para contestar que sí me gusta, que I can say I love it, ¿verdad? I like it. Por ahí dijeron, I don't like it. Muy bien. Cuando no me gusta, I don't like it. ¿Verdad? Etc. Ok. So, then it says, it's downtown. Cuando yo digo, it's downtown, es en el centro de la ciudad. En el centro cabal. ¿Verdad? It's downtown, so it's, pre, it's very convenient. Right? Eh, downtown, right? Is there much noise? O sea, si está cabal en, la, en el medio de la ciudad, tiene que haber ruido, ¿verdad? Y él dice, oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Okay. Is there much noise? Right. La pregunta, is there much noise? It's much because I'm talking about an uncountable noun. Estoy hablando de un incontable. But is there much noise? How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent career place just around the corner. La justo a la vuelta de la esquina, just around the corner, okay? What about parking? Okay, well, there aren't many parking garages, right? Parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street, right? Is there much crime? Is there much crime? Uncountable, es incontable. No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Justo, ¿verdad? hablando de, de, de crime y de, y de a parking. So, le estaban abriendo el vehículo a la chica. So, now, let's take a look at the questions here. Vamos hoy a las preguntas que tenemos ahí en el ejercicio. Tenemos, write answers to these questions about your neighborhood. Estas son de donde usted vive. Okay, tenemos ahí, are there many apartment buildings? Okay. Are there any apartment buildings? Uh, in my case, for example, I can say yes, there are a lot of apartment buildings. Okay. Uh, how much traffic is there? Okay. ¿Cómo puedo decir hay bastante o hay poco tráfico? A lot. Is there a lot? No, there's. Uh -huh. 
There's a lot of traffic. Muy bien. There's a lot of traffic. Si no hay mucho o poquito o no hay. <laughs> Perdón. Yeah. A little, miss. A little. Uh -huh. ah, okay, very, very good. Let me see. We have. Yo usaría. Yo usaría. There isn't much, quizás. Ajá, uh -huh. porque. There's a little. Hay un poquito. Sí, pero. Mm, no sé, pero a mí no se me hace que se escucha bien. Yo diría there isn't, there isn't much. Ok, no hay mucho, ¿verdad? O si no hay, there's none, ¿verdad? No, there's none, no hay nada, ¿verdad? De tráfico, ¿ok? Eh, how many dance clubs are there? Do you have dance clubs near your area, guys? Dance clubs? Because here, let me think. No, there isn't none. In my case, around here, I haven't seen any, any dance clubs. So no, there's none, okay? There's none, perdón. Luego tenemos, uh, is there much noise? Is there much noise, okay? En este caso, como digo, hay bastante ruido. Yes, there, yes, they are. There are many. Pero si estoy hablando de noise, ¿es contable o incontable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Muy bien, entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? There are any. There's. Right? Preguntan, is there much noise? Yes, there's. A lot. Hay bastante ruido. Okay. Yes, there's a lot of noise or yes, there's a lot. Okay. O solo. Yes, there is. También, ¿verdad? Sí hay. Okay. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. um, are there many payphones? En general, la pregunta, chicos. Are there many payphones on the streets? ¿Qué opinan ustedes? Are there many payphones? There are not. There are none, right? Actually, ya no hay. Okay, so in this case, eh, no, ¿verdad? No. There are none. No hay ninguno, ¿verdad? No. There are none. Very good. Uh, is there much pollution, guys? Is there much pollution? Contamination. Is there much pollution? Yes, is there are. Mm, yes. Me dijo is there are, pero no puedo usarlo así. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Sí, hay mucho, mucha contaminación. How do I say that? Yes, there. Yes, is, there are. Is a pollution. Is. Sí, pollution tiene much. Entonces, pollution es incontable. Contaminación, ¿verdad? En inglés no digo one pollution, two pollutions. No, pollution in general, como money, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes, there is a lot of pollution. O puedo decir, yes, there's a lot. Hay bastante, ¿verdad? O solo puedo decir, yes, there is. Sí, hay. ¿Ok? Ahí depende de cómo usted quiera contestar. Pero, chicos, tenemos que tomar en cuenta si el nombre es singular o plural. ¿Y cómo lo voy a saber, teacher? Aquí mismo se lo dice. Mire, aquí dice many apartments. Solo con ver many, yo sé que es un countable noun. ¿Ve? Many apartment buildings. ¿Verdad? Much, quiere decir que si uso much, lo que viene es incontable. Traffic es incontable. Many, quiere decir que lo que viene son contables. Dance clubs. Much, entonces es incontable. Noise es incontable. Many, lo que viene entonces es contable. Pay funds, ¿verdad? Much, lo que viene es incontable. Pollution. Eh, many, esto es contable. Swimming pools, ¿verdad? Much, lo que viene es incontable. Parking, parqueo. ¿Ok? En general, ¿verdad? 
no como en inglés que decimos parking space. Para decir un estacionamiento específico decimos parking space. Pero parqueo en general es parking. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. So, questions, guys. Preguntas. No. Y se pueden hacer respuestas cortas solo diciendo yes, they are o no they are. O tiene que ir el complemento. No, aquí se las puse. Mire, por ejemplo, aquí si, si usted contesta la pregunta, is there much pollution? Usted puede decir yes, this, there's a lot of pollution. O yes, there's a lot. O solo yes, there is. ¿Verdad? Y si quiere contestar con, esas se llaman short answers, ¿verdad? Short sure answers, claro que las puede usar si usted quiere, ¿verdad? Si es positivo, yes, there is, negativo, no, aquí vamos a ponerlo acá, Ay. <risa> yes, ¿verdad? Yes, y no, there isn't, ¿verdad? No, there isn't. Luego para el plural, yes, there are, Oops. yes, there are. No, coma, there aren't. Ahí está. Entonces, si usted quiere usar las short answers, claro que sí, puede utilizarlas. Uh -huh. No sé si contesto su pregunta. Sí, teacher, gracias. Oh, vaya, está bien. Eh, dígame, Edgar. En uh, la primera one, are there many apartment building? I can answer. Yes, there are many apartments. Sí, claro que sí. Yeah. Se puede decir, yes, there are. Can use many. Sí, porque es contable. Yes, there mm -hmm. are. Puede contestar de esa forma. Yes, there are. Many apartments. Yes, there are a lot. Hay bastantes. Yes, there are many apartment, oops, apartment buildings. Claro que sí. Puede contestar como usted le, ajá, le salga mejor. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Any other question, guys? Preguntas? Dígame, Reina. Teacher, el are se usa entonces para many y el it's is para, para mucho. Ajá, sí, es correcto, vaya. Aquí es lo que explicamos el día de ayer, creo yo, antier que lo que tenemos que ver son los contables e incontables, ¿verdad? Entonces, si tenemos los countable, ¿verdad? Son los que podemos contar y tenemos los uncountables, nouns, uncountable nouns, perdón. Entonces, si es un contable o algo que yo puedo contar, entonces aquí voy a usar este many, ¿verdad? Y aquí voy a usar much, ¿ok? Esto es con respecto a los contables e incontables, ¿verdad? Y eh, ayer vimos un cuadrito que es este, ¿ve? Y aquí están divididos cuáles son los que se pueden usar con cada quien, ¿verdad? Entonces, si es contable, puedo usar many, a lot, a few, eh, many, any, y none, ¿verdad? E, e, any lo vamos a usar solo con oraciones negativas y preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero si son no contables, vamos a usar much. A lot, a little, much, any, and none. En esas diferentes, digamos, en esas circunstancias, ¿verdad? Podemos usar, eh, por ejemplo, a little. Puedo usarla solo con no contables. Pero a few, puedo usarla con contables. Puedo usarlo con contables. Entonces, si ya estamos hablando del verbo to be, que es there is. There is y there are. Entonces, aquí estamos hablando de que esto es singular y esto es plural. Por lo tanto, si es singular, estos van a ir con no contables, ¿verdad? No eh, uncountable nouns, ¿ok? O pueden ir con eh, formas singulares, ¿ok? Y este de acá va a ir con countable nouns, con cosas que yo puedo contar que son en plural. ¿Verdad? Entonces, así es como lo vamos a utilizar. Y aquí, ¿verdad? Si usted me dice much, bueno, si es much, lo voy a usar con incontables. Y si es many, lo voy a utilizar con contables. ¿Verdad? No sé si contesté su pregunta. 
Sí, teacher, gracias. Vaya, ok. ¿Alguien más, chicos? ¿Questions? No. Bueno. Let me minimize this. Ok, I'm going to move here. Eh, hasta el momento vamos aquí con el 3.9. Miren, 3.9, which is a knowledge check. Ok, it says on the spaces provided for each sentence, write the proper quantifier. Pay attention if it's a count or non-countable noun. Ok, eso es de lo que ustedes hicieron en la plataforma. Ok, now we're going to uh, move to 3.10, which is the article. Okay, it's an article that uh, you're going to read and it says in this session, participants will have a chance to read an article from a magazine, right? Develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Okay, que es scanning teacher es escanear el, el, o darle como una ojeada diríamos nosotros, verdad? Escanear el artículo y tratar de comprender la idea principal. Okay, entonces le voy a compartir aquí el artículo para que lo veamos, verdad? Casi no se ve, pero algo es algo. <laughs> ok, y el reading es The World in One Neighborhood. The World in One Neighborhood. Ok, so it says scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. Ok, we have Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, and Thailand. Ok, now can I have a volunteer to read the first paragraph? Paragraph number one. Okay, es cabal, ya se lo voy a marcar. ¿Quién nos va a ayudar con paragraph? Okay, Edgar, permítame, solo le voy a marcar aquí. Y Geraldine me ayuda con el número dos. Pero le voy a marcar aquí el primero. Vaya, Edgar. Ah, ahí el primero. Uh -huh. Okay. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from the Romanian band is playing in the restaurant. It is India. China? Romanian? No, it's Estonia. A neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Estonia was once uh, a mostly great neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Very good. Thank you so much. Eh, now let's move on to number two. Okay, Geraldine. That's going to be this one. Okay. The new residents bring many traditions. This tradition blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the thing that they like. Says one resident. Here in Astoria, says one resident. No, here in Astoria, isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It is it's one of the things that's made the neighborhood. Very good. The thing that makes it special. Correct. Okay, and volunteer for number three. Thank you, Geraldine. Uh, Edwin Giovanni. Number three. Mm -hmm. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rest are reasonable. Reasonable. The neighborhood reasonable. Reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good French fruit and veg um, vegetable. 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 Vegetable, mm -hmm. vegetable mar market. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. 
Apartments are usually big and roomy, as one long time resident says. We live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Mm -hmm. And I think it's comfortable. Comfortable or comfortable, right? You can you can say it like that. Comfortable or comfortable. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, uh, questions about the vocabulary words, guys? Questions about, about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulary? Truly, what's the mean truly? I'm sorry? What's the mean truly? What's the meaning of? Uh -huh. What's the meaning of truly, verdaderamente? Truly. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Anyone else? Questions about the vocabulary words? Okay. Bye. Entonces, hoy lo voy a leer yo y necesito que escuchemos y pongamos atención. Okay. Remember, hay una cosa que debemos de recordar siempre y son las pausas. Cada vez que vemos un punto o una coma, debemos pausar. De acuerdo. The sidewalks. Ajá, Irving. Dígame. Um, what's the meaning of roomy? Roomy, espacioso. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. The sidewalks are crowded. The sidewalks are crowded. Crowded means bien concurrido, ¿verdad? The sidewalks, sidewalk es acera, ¿verdad? The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful tradition, traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India? China? Romania? No. It's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions these traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multi multicultural. Blend is mezclar, ¿verdad? como la licuadora, la, the blender. ¿verdad? These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from, Korean, from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. It isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fruits, uh, fruits, I mean, good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one long time resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and Check the article, okay? It says, then write the number of each paragraph next to its main idea. Vaya. Ya vimos los diferentes párrafos, okay? So now we're going to identify the main idea, okay? So what about paragraph number one? It says, uh, aquí tenemos, ¿ve? The new residents make Astoria a multi multicultural neighborhood. People from all over the world are moving to Astoria and the neighborhood has many good characteristics, okay? So what do you think number one is making reference to? The new resident made Astoria a multicultural neighborhood. Aha, uh -huh. ¿qué párrafo sería? Number one. Number one, do you agree, guys? ¿Están de acuerdo? Number three. Number three, dicen por ahí. Number one. Number, Number one. Two. <laughs> Number two. Vaya. Eh, según lo que yo entiendo, 
¿verdad? Aquí en el número dos es donde mencionan, ¿verdad? Que dice, these traditions plan together to make a story a truly multicultural. Entonces, en este caso podemos decir que muy probablemente acá en el número dos tengamos eso, ¿verdad? New residents make a story a multicultural neighborhood. What about number two? People from all over the world are moving to Astoria. Uh, ese sí es el número uno, creo. Number one, the sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful uh, traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from the Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Okay, so what do you think? Is this talking about people from all over the world that are moving to Astoria? Paragraph number one. Paragraph number one. Why? Because here it mentions the countries, right? It mentions India, China, Romania, right? It mentions also the origin that it was first a Greek neighborhood. Because fue, fue un, un vecindario griego que se formó y luego pues empezaron a llegar los de, las demás culturas, right? The neighborhood has many good characteristics. Paragraph. La única opción que nos queda. Paragraph number. Number three. Number three. three, correct. Paragraph number three. It mentions, right? It says it's becoming very popular. Uh, the rents are reasonable, right? It's safe. It has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many restaurants, good fresh fruits and vegetable markets. O sea, lo tiene todo, ¿verdad? Por eso dice el final. Astoria has it all, ¿verdad? Astoria lo tiene todo, okay? And here it says, check the things that you can find in Astoria. Okay, check the things that you can find in Astoria. So please, can you tell me what are the ones that you remember from the reading? Big apartments. Okay, big apartments. What else? Many different cultures. Many different cultures. Muy bien, Jose Oscar. Great market. Expensive stores. Okay, muy bien. ¿Verdad? Tiene inexpensive stores. Eh, Geraldine. Good public transportation. Good public. Es como una A. Good public transportation. Muy bien. Edgar. Mauricio. Ya lo dijo ahí. Ah, vaya. Reina Isabel. Nice restaurant. Nice restaurants. Muy bien. Eh, José Oscar. Many different cultures. Many different cultures. Ok. Eh, Carla. Big apartments. Big apartments. Ok. Más que big apartments, creo yo que tiene, eh, aquí dice... Reasonable rents, ¿verdad? Tiene reasonable rents, pero sí, eh, eh, se oye bien fantástico, ¿verdad? Como, como que le dan ganas a uno de vivir en un lugar así. Ok, so very good, excellent. This was about the reading. Yo creo que lo tenían también en su, man, en su plataforma. I'm not pretty sure, no estoy segura. Ok, now I'm going to go here and open up the platform. Voy a ir a la plataforma porque vamos a revisar lo que es el, el midterm exam. Ok. And we're going to uh, do it together. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Vamos a comenzar con el listening, ¿verdad? Déjenme, uh, dígame, José, Oscar. Sorry, sorry. Ah, ok, se quedó arriba la, la mano, ok. Bye. Vamos a comenzar con este listening. Lo vamos a poner y dice, Instructions. Listen to the conversations. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. Okay. Solo déjeme asegurarme que estoy acá en el que me corresponde. No vaya a ser. Curso 3, section 3, listening. Ese es el que les aparece a ustedes, ¿verdad? Yes, me. Ah, sí. bye. Perfect. Pensé que me estaba equivocando. Bye. Let's pay attention, please. 
Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still love the trip. Okay, very good. So let's go ahead and answer. So Lisa visited Australia, Austria, or Korea? Irving? Australia. Australia, right? Australia. Muy bien. Uh, how was the weather in Australia? Okay. It was okay. Okay. Peter visited Indonesia, India, or Italy? Italy. Okay, Italy. Italy. How was the weather, Jose Oscar? Ahí abajo la mano, perdón. Well, how was the weather, guys? Okay. Was it okay? Good. Uh -huh. Good. ¿Qué más? Solo good? Okay. Mm, okay. Are you sure? Vamos a ver si es cierto. Vamos a verlas acá. No. En la parte de Lisa, aquí me dicen OK, me dicen good y OK. ¿Cuál, es, creen, que, cuál creen que sea la respuesta correcta? Good. 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 Ajá. Yes. OK, dígame, José Oscar. Good and bad. Good and bad, me dicen por acá. OK, vaya. Fíjense de que estoy viendo en la plataforma, pero las respuestas que tienen son diferentes, ¿verdad? Entonces, en la plataforma tenemos que Lisa visited Australia y que el clima estaba bad, ¿ok? Luego dice Peter visited Italy, right? And that the weather was ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, al usted escoger esas respuestas, aparecen que están correctas. Ahora bien, escuchemos de nuevo para ver si nosotros entendimos mal. Let's listen again. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So, Lisa, where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you? Okay. So the weather was bad because she's explaining it was windy, it was cloudy, it was rainy, and luego le dice, oh, I'm sorry, it was terrible, right? So that's the reason why when she, ex when she describes the weather conditions, the weather was bad. ¿Por qué? Porque ni siquiera pudo hacer lo que ella quería, ¿verdad? Entonces, what about Peter? Let's listen to Peter. You, Peter, how did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow, what did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay. Entonces, it was okay because it was not as he wanted. No era como él hubiera querido, pero no estaba mal del todo. Okay. Entonces, por eso tenemos acá. Okay. Eh, dígame, José Oscar, tenía pregunta. Sorry. <laughs> no, vaya pues. Okay, so vamos a ver acá. 
¿verdad? Aquí solo contestamos una que era con la que ustedes tenían dudas, ¿verdad? Solo déjenme mover aquí esto. Bye. Ahora vamos acá. Y dice, instructions, complete the following conversations, right? Voy a mover un poquito para acá. Eh, complete the following conversations, right? You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. So we have number one. So what would be the answer for this one? La respuesta es every day. I'm a real fitness freak. So what would be the word that I need here to uh, complete the question? Yes, eh, Jose Oscar. Está en mute, creo yo. The first is often. often. How often do you work? Muy bien, often. How often do you work out? Right? Every day, I'm real fitness freak, le dice. Okay? What about number two, guys? Number two. Edwin? Is, uh, how well do you play tennis? How well do you play tennis? How well? Mm -hmm. About average, but I'm getting better and better. Muy bien. What about number three? Number three. <clears throat> La respuesta es just 30 minutes a day. Who, who has the time? Jose Oscar, diga. How long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? Just 30 minutes a day. ¿verdad? Who has the time? What about, eh, bueno, la siguiente ya está, que lo vimos, how good are you at soccer, right? How, you, uh, how good are you at soccer? So in this case, cada vez que yo pregunto qué tan bueno eres para, ¿verdad? Eh, el arte, la pintura, ¿verdad? Para preparar pasta, etc. How good are you at? ¿Qué tan bueno eres en? Y luego lo que sigue es un nombre, ¿verdad? Eh, in letter, well, in number two, it says complete the conversations. Choose the correct past form of the verb given in parentheses, right? So number one, guys, what would be the option? Did you, one or two? Number two. Number? One. One, muy bien. Uh, number two, one or two? What did you? Do. Do, right? Porque como ya llevamos la pregunta, ya tengo el auxiliar, entonces solo necesito la forma base del verbo. Number three, I went. I went dancing at the new club on 8th, 8th Street. Susie and Mike were there too. Oh, really? Just we? Hell. Yes. Had, right? A great time. Number five, where? Where? Where were you, right? Donde estabas? Where were you? Number six, I? Was. Was, right? In the laundromat all evening. How boring. Actually, no. I met my friend there. We? One or two? Two. Spent. To write spend. Okay, we're going to click on send and we got all the right answers. Okay, can I have a volunteer to read the conversation, guys? Volunteer to read the conversation. Vamos con A and B, A and B. Jenny, okay. So, Jenny, yo le voy a ayudar para no confundirlo y luego leemos eh, José Oscar y yo, ¿ok? Entonces, comencemos, Jenny. Hey, did you stay home last night? What did you do, did? No, aquí está, ve. Hey, did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. Oh, and what did you do? When dancing at the new club, uh, eight street, sweet and Mike were there too. Susie and Mike were there too. Okay. Oh, really? Yes, we had a great time. Mm, and where were you? 
I was in the laundromat all evening. How boring. Mm, actually, no. I met my friend there. We spent the evening laughing and talking. Okay. Thank you, Jenny Margarita. Jose Oscar, now it's your turn. So, did you stay home last night? No, I didn't. Ah, what did you do? I went dancing at the new club and ate a sweet sushi and egg were there too. Oh, really? Yes, we had a great time. Oh, where I'm not kissed up. Where were you? I was in the laundromat all evening evening. How boring. Oh, actually, no, I met my friend there. We spent the evening laughing and talking. Aquí nos comimos ese pedacito, mira. I'm sorry, no me he fijado que estaba ahí. Pero sí, excellent, very good, okay? Now, we are going to um, continue with the next one. Pero acá, chicos, preguntas del ejercicio? Questions about this exercise? No? But what about this one? It says choose the correct answer, right? So choose the correct answer instructions. Number one, excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There's any one or some? One. one. Muy bien, one, okay. How, not much, many, a few hotels are there in this neighborhood? Many. How many? Many, many. okay. There are a little, much, or a few? A few. A few. ¿Por qué? Porque, porque es plural, ¿verdad? Hotels, a few. ¿Y por qué es contable? Is there much, many, one public transportation near here? Much. Much public transportation near here. No, there isn't one, any, none. Any? There isn't any. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Correct. Okay, so you answered all of them correctly. Okay. What about the next one? Ese creo que ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Aquí está, ve. Okay. Y era, I often watch TV after dinner, ¿verdad? Luego la otra era, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Jeff doesn't exercise very much, ¿verdad? Esas eran las que teníamos en el ejercicio D. Preguntas, chicos, hasta el momento con el midterm exam. Questions? Voy a pasar esto para acá, permita. Vaya. Then the last exercise, it's a reading, okay? It's a reading y vamos a, a verlo acá, bueno, que se ve bien chiquito, ¿verdad? Pero... Si ustedes pueden verlo desde ahí, se lo voy a leer para que ustedes este, puedan, puedan revisarlo. A ver si puedo. <laughs> Dear Ted, Currently is a great city. I really like it here. There's always lots to do. Every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always something interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a foreign movie or listen to live music. On Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants, and it's a great city for jogging or in line skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to Chinatown to have lunch, and then we go walking or shopping in the afternoon. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or we watch a sports event like a football game or basketball game on TV. I think American football is very exciting. 
Well, that's all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. Love, Ruth. Okay. Now, let's take a look in here. It says, read Ruth's letter, then check four true statements. But hay que chequear cuatro que sean ciertas. Okay. She walks down Telegraph Avenue after class. Is it true or false, guys? True. True. Okay, it's true. What about the next one? Okay, she meets her friends for coffee in the evening. True or false? False. Okay, what is the correct sentence? ¿Qué sería lo que sí es cierto entonces? To meet the friends. Uh -huh. Just ah, muy bien, in the afternoon, okay. not in the evening, ¿verdad? Muy bien. She sometimes dances to live music. False. False. Ella dice que they just listen to, ¿verdad? Or enjoy live music. Música en vivo es live music, ¿verdad? Luego, she enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. True or false? It's true, right? Then the next one. She doesn't like inline skating. False. It's false. Porque todavía it's false. dice que she loves it and that she's getting good at it. Que se está haciendo buena para, para patinar, dice. Inline skating es eso. Es el patinaje, los zapatitos que se ponen que tienen la She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. True or false? It's true. True. Okay. She plays tennis with friends every Sunday. True or false? False. 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 She says that they watch sports events, pero no que los jueguen, ¿verdad? She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. True. Mm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And you can see we have all the right answers. Okay. Preguntas acá del vocabulario, chicos, o alguna duda que haya quedado. No? Very good. Now we're going to continue. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to give you some time in the breakout rooms. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms por un momento. Y vamos a hacer este role play, okay? Entonces dice, imagine you're a visitor in Students Beat Neighbors. ¿verdad? Usted es visitante de, él, de la ciudad o la, el lugar donde vive su otro compañero. Okay? Now it says, answer the questions. ¿verdad? How much crime is there? ¿verdad? There isn't much. It's a safe neighborhood. Is there much noise? Vamos a hacer las preguntas primero y luego vamos a pasar. Ay, pero es que queda bien poquito tiempo. Bueno, aunque sean las preguntas, las vamos a hacer, aunque no, no, ya, no tenga, ya no podamos ir al breakout room. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Las primeras dos ya están. Miren, topics to ask about, ¿verdad? How much crime is there? Ya tenemos la de crime. How much crime is there? ¿Ok? El segundo punto también que está aquí, ve que es noise, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos acá con la segunda que dice, is there much noise? ¿Verdad? Is there much noise? Oops. Muy bien. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la, la, tercera, la tercera pregunta con Parks? How many? Pero si yo le quiero preguntar si hay parques, ¿cómo le pregunto? Are there? Are there what? Are many there what? parks here? Repeat it. Many parks here. Puedo decir, are there many parks? En la pregunta, porque estamos haciendo la pregunta. Are, are there any? Any, muy bien. Are there any parks here? ¿Verdad? O oh, there, eh, ¿verdad? Allí. Uh -huh. Are there any parks there? Muy bien. What about this one? Places to shop. 
¿Cómo le voy a preguntar? ¿Cómo le voy a preguntar si hay places to shop? How many places to shop? Ok, puede preguntar how many places to shop. Uh -huh. Are there, ¿verdad? Hay. Ok, yo hubiera preguntado, are there any places to shop, ¿verdad? Places to shop there. Pero las dos están correctas, no hay problema. What about pollution? How much pollution are there? Pero solo estoy preguntando si hay, no cuánto. How many pollution are there? ¿Puedo usar how many con incontables? No, no, no. Is how much, much pollution? pollution? Vaya, pero si yo quiero preguntar si hay, no cuánto. Is, is there pollution? Is there much pollution, right? Mm -hmm. What about public transportation? What do you think? Are there many, Are there many transport, public transportation? Pero transportation es, es singular o plural, contable o incontable? Es singular. Ah, there... ah, muy bien. Is there much public transportation? Public transportation, muy bien. Eh, schools, ¿cómo pregunto are, eso? Are, Are there, uh, Are there many, many schools? schools? Mm -hmm. Are there many schools? There? Mm -hmm. O sea, allí, ¿verdad? No lo voy a poner así, no voy a hacer. Are there many schools where you live? O allí, ¿verdad? Aquí. <ríe> es que no lo quiero confundir, vaya. Are there many schools here? Hay muchas escuelas aquí, ¿ok? Are there many schools? También, are there any? Creo yo que se, oría, se escucharía mejor porque es para pregunta. Are there any schools here? Aunque si yo pregunto, are there many? Estoy preguntando algo diferente. Vaya, porque si yo pregunto, are there any? No, no. Es si yo pregunto, are there any? Estoy preguntando, ¿hay alguna, algunas escuelas por aquí? Pero si yo pregunto, are there many schools here? Le estoy preguntando, mira, y hay bastantes escuelas aquí. ¿Verdad? Entonces la pregunta, dos preguntas son diferentes, con any y con many. Teacher, uh -huh. eh, I can ask, eh, ask, are there a school here? No, no, no. puedo. Uh -uh. ¿Por qué no podemos? Usted me acaba de decir, are there a school, ¿verdad? Yeah. Vale, ¿por qué no puedo usar esto? Singular. Ajá, porque esto es para plural y aquí me está mencionando un singular. Entonces, si yo is voy a preguntar. Sí. Yeah. Is there one school? Yeah. No, no, porque one lo voy a usar solo en las oraciones afirmativas. Is there a school here? Y yo puedo decir, mm -hmm. yes, there is one around the corner. Wow. Ajá. Um, en la oración afirmativa. Okay. Dígame. Cuando se trata de una escuela en específico. Por ejemplo, dígame la oración. Digamos que yo preguntara si la escuela Francis, San, eh, San Francisco Menéndez. Ah, no, pero ese es, ese es otro. Es where is. Y usted dice el nombre de la escuela, ¿verdad? Uh, Thanks, Miss. Ajá, you're welcome. O puede preguntar si está cerca. Voy a preguntar así. Is, ¿verdad? Y dice el nombre de la escuela, ¿verdad? Cerca. Ay. Near. ¿Verdad? Cerca. 
Ahí sí, pero son preguntas diferentes, ¿verdad? Son preguntas diferentes. Les voy a poner esto ahí en el chat, chicos, y pues ya me tengo que ir, ya se me hicieron las nueve, y solo voy a pasar lista de los que no me habían contestado, ¿de acuerdo? Bye. De los que no me habían contestado está Carolina Griselda Calzadilla Arias. No vino. Eh, Edwin Giovanni Hernández Laínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Fernando José Martínez Chávez. Present teacher. Gracias. Eh, Jenny Margarita Maeda Barrientos. Present miss. Thank you. Natalie Cristina Roque de Cervando. Natalie, no vino. Eh, y Wendy Beatriz Toledo de Rodesmo. Present miss. Gracias, chicos. Hoy sí lo tengo, chicos. Thank you very much for joining mm -hmm. y nos vemos el lunes. Una cosa, okay, mi teacher. Bye. Bye.